like a 30, yeah. 30 panel, 35 panel. 35 panel. Okay. Uh, and what do you use for controllers? Uh, we actually were using the, actually started with a, uh, what was it? Holiday Coro. Alpha, the Alpha Pix? A Pix Lite 16 and then an Alpha Pix. And then we, then we got into the Falcons and then we got the, the, right. The Falcon. The th- three, and then we just got the 48 last year. And a bunch of Raspberry Pis running the, the uh, Beagle Bone. Beagle Bone. I like saying that. Beagle Bone. <laughs> there you go. What else? Okay. Got? Uh, all right. How many controllers you got total? I don't know. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Five F16s and one F48? Four no, F16s and an F48? 48 F16. Alpha Pix, uh, Pixlite, and then we do wireless ingenious campus Wi-Fi to across the street, and the neighbor has another Pixlite 16. Okay. Now tell me about your three uh, favorite props of your display. My three favorite props. I don't know. I think the spinner has to be the fav- one of my favorites. Okay. How many spinners you got? We got Pascoil spinners, and we got Gilbert Engineering spinners. But uh, yeah, we saw we saw uh, we started with the Buscoil spinners, a forty-seven inch. What else do we have? We had a bunch of uh, we had a bunch of Buscoil stuff. We still have a bunch of Buscoil stuff. Yep. The shooting stars, shooting stars, we like. We have two of those up on the house. And probably just the uh, like we're gonna do icicles this year. But when we started doing the outlines and stuff, you know, just the basic trim with the EMT up on the roof line. And then we did the uh, four by forty two matrix mm-hmm. coming down the verticals. I just like all that stuff. I like the outline stuff. Cool, makes the house pop. Yeah, uh, you have a mega tree. Yeah. Oh yeah, we got a mega tree. Okay, okay. Uh, give me the specs. It's a big one. <laughs> <laughs> We're talking like a 36, 34, 36, 24, 36? 36? 32 a, strand. Thirty two strand, a hundred pixels. I pushed every. Think in one of them last year um, because we went bigger. Um, it's a 180 tree. I uh, wish somebody would come out with a base for it. They are available now on my website. What? Yes. I heard, the last I heard was that coming soon. And we God have. Damn it! I guess I'll. I guess I'll delete that from my list of questions to ask him in South Dakota. Yeah. We uh we actually have a stripper pole out front that we use for a second mega tree. We just ex- ex- fun. extended it up a little, but we're gonna have maybe some dancing girls this year. Now, or, or who, which or one of you two tests out, or, or which one of you tests out the stripper pole, and or does it matter on days like even days it's one, odd days it's the other? I don't know if you'd want to see Jay on a stripper pole. That could be. <laughs> Don't make decisions for me. <laughs> but you let me decide what I want. Vinny, uh-huh. Vinny, we have seen Jay on a stripper pole. I'll send you some video. He uh he showed us his moves when he was walking through the country concert. Oh, oh nice. Nice. Oh. Nice. Yeah, there's a few stripper poles there too. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> all right. Well, that's all I've got for the speed round about your display. Jay, are you any questions? About the speed round? No. Yep. I think we're uh I think we learned everything from them. Okay. I don't um I'm assuming you use X lights. Yes, sir. See, that was that was like the only other thing we didn't ask. Yeah. Yeah, we used to, we used to use L O R. What version? First couple of years. What L O R? No, no, no. What version X lights you using, bro? I'm a few versions behind. <laughs> a few updates behind. <laughs> Don't worry. Don't worry. Well, we're at, we're at dot 30 now. And by the time this editing is done and we're air this, we're at 34. 2019 dot, 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 dot. (laughs) That's the version I got. All right, JR, let's, let's get into some meat and potatoes, shall we? All right. All right. So you guys kind of already touched on this a little bit, but what made you start Gilbert engineering? Needed the money. Tired of panhandling in the parking lots. No. No, it was, it was just out of 
you know, from sheer requests um, to do our yeah. own stuff is, is how it started. And just, you know, we enjoy the season too and the holiday stuff and designing and we just kind of took off from there. It's been fun. It is a lot of work, but. I actually started making like wooden signs. Yeah. And beer, was, beer tap things. Yeah, beer tap things and uh, bottle openers and. I don't know. It was just messy. I got tired of painting things, <laughs> standing things. And it, he's like, well, why don't we just yeah. do the coro? And then, then James was, was, it was costing me an arm and a leg to buy James's stuff. I'm like, I could probably make my own. So yeah, I mean a little of that. That's kind of how it started. So, um, you know, kind of getting into like a, a big question here. Speaking of James, uh, when you started this business, uh, you went up against, you know, you're kind of competing with James and James at Biscoyo is one of the longstanding staples of the community. Something, somebody that everybody knows. Uh, what was it like knowing that, that, Hey, that's who your competition is. It, we didn't look at, at him necessarily as a competitor, just because too, we, we have his props. We look to um, provide a, a different we were making, yeah, we were different trying to make different designs. Stuff. I mean, there's some things you you can't, you know, only so many, there's only so many ways to make a candy cane and different things. But, but we didn't look at it as a competition, or you know, uh, yeah. I mean, I know James is the king of Coro, so I don't know. I talk to James like weekly. Uh, I don't yeah. feel like it's a big competition. I mean, there's there's plenty of Coro to be had out there. I'm actually surprised more people don't make it or maybe not after I see all the work that goes into it. It's not, you know, it's not an easy business. No um, business is easy. It's yeah. It's, it's a lot of work, a lot of long, long hours. I know why I know why that guy's up, you know, 23 and a half hours a day mm-hmm. and it's tough, but yeah, I try, I try to do stuff that like he doesn't do and, and mostly stuff that, you know, people ask for and good business ethic. Yeah. Good. That's that's really awesome. I think it's good that everybody in the industry are friends and not yeah, separated. Because the more it's, people, the, the better the industry will be. Yeah, it's only good for the whole Christmas light community in general to have more, not necessarily competition, but more sources out there, and it gets it out farther, and right. more people could see it. So I think right. it's good. I mean, you know, who knows what happens? You know, some somebody. You know, might need somebody to help each other out or whatever. I've talked to him about some stuff I need help with. You no, know, he's he's great. I love James. Yeah, James is James is probably one of the nicest guys around. So definitely. So is it my turn or your turn, Vinny? Well, I just asked a question, so I think you know you you can have a try. I could have a try. Yeah. <laughs> it's your turn. And it's my turn. Yay! Give it, give it the old wackatoo. No wackatoo? What the hell is that? Is that a Nebraska term for something? Wackatoo. Uh, I'm sorry, I was trying to talk Californian. Oh yeah, because that's that's hella what we say. Is that flat bill hat? <laughs> yeah, it is a flat bill hat. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, I, I think you put a level on that thing. That thing's not totally flat. Yeah. Oh yeah, it is. I didn't it's want to hell. ask a question out of turn. Am I allowed to ask a question? Yeah, it's hella flat. Look at that. Screw the rules, Jay. You ask no, away. I don't, I don't have a rule. That a just rule, doesn't a right. level. Wow. Thanks. I appreciate that. So what's your question? Yeah. Oh, yeah. What's my what's question? question? Yeah. So what is your favorite part of being in this business? Please say it's just hanging out with me. Well, that's that's <laughs> obvious. <laughs> I mean, the people, I know this for me. Yeah, the people, the people, um, and and I think it just kind of goes hand in hand with the whole thing with all the shows too. Is seeing the kids and and the stuff that it brings. Um, you know, people coming by your house and the kids out there dancing, and actually adults out there dancing and stuff. So it kind of goes hand in hand, business wise. You know, as well as just what we do. You know, to our own home. She stole my answer. <laughs> That's a good answer. Yeah, that's that was... a great answer. Ah, it's a good yeah, job, both no, of you. No, for it this. It's no matter how exhausted you are, you could be cursing out trying to figure out why this prop's only lighting half the pixels, and then 
you know, that night you'll see a car pull up with like five kids or whatever, and they'll all get out. And the kids will come up, like, you know, look at you, what, what is this? And the kids are dancing, and that's pretty cool. And then I have to get out the whip because he needs to get something boxed or cut or chipped and have that's to. That's your favorite part. That's my least favorite part. And he's out there dancing. No, he, he likes the whip. Oh, just can you put this song on? Can you put this song on? Can you put this song on? I'm talking about the business now. Yeah. I'm cracking the whip. All right. Get your ass to work. So she <laughs> whines about put, so, putting songs on or do the kids whine about it? They ask. Yeah, and then I ask for them because I, I got I got a hint there that you're the one that whines about it. They they come maybe on a previous night and say, "Oh, they have Frozen or whatever song it is," and they'll come back because maybe they didn't see the song or whatever, and they'll say, "Oh, can you put on Frozen?" Right. And I'll be in, you know, I'll be exhausted. I'll be a couch. He'll be sitting on the couch, and I'll be like, "Ah, oh, just put it on." Put this on. <laughs> So speaking of uh, getting out and seeing the people and things like that, are, are we going to see you guys soon? You know, at Expo, Trans World, uh, when will we find you guys in a booth at the uh, vendor halls? It, we're, we are currently looking at and putting together a business plan for this year and trying to work that in schedule wise, obviously, because this is, we do have other full-time jobs. Um, so we are looking to do one or the other. Not sure which yet Probably, for next yeah, year. 2020, yeah. So definitely in 2020, um, we're looking to go to the SoCal Mini possibly in September. And if we do, um, there is a case of Monster on the line because I'm taking my car out. So are we racing home again? Oh, we oh. are. You know but it. I don't. I don't think I'm going home after. Uh. So I will get to my destination a whole lot faster you? than you. You're staying, Sen? Is this yeah. the September SoCal? Yeah, because yeah. the Vinny's going to be in town, so I might have I'm to hang out. Be there. Well, we definitely probably won't go then. I, I, I got some special phone calls asking me to come out for that. And I at first told him no, and then he cried and he whined. And eventually, <laughs> I was like, all right, buddy, I'll come out. And it wasn't me. Was it, wasn't, it David? It wasn't JR. It, it, I, I, can't, I can't talk about it because I might hurt Mr. Peace's feelings. Okay? Uh-huh. So I'm afraid <laughs> that I can't tell you who it was. It was That's we had, awesome. We had fun the last time. Yeah, we did. So it was nice to finally get out and meet people that we've talked to or emailed or messaged or whatever. That was kind of cool. It's yeah. cool. But, but, me and Vinny hang out a lot, and he didn't even tell me that uh, he, he was, he was going. going. Yeah, we're boring him. Jeez, can't believe this. It's late there. <laughs> oh, yeah. Past his bedtime. It's like 10 o'clock. 10.30 there. Here. 9 30. If it's past so, 9.30, Vinny Okay, done. JR, you were mad at me because why? I had what? to find out from David you were coming to the SoCal Mini. Oh, I, I at first thought it was supposed to be a secret. And then I had to find out from David that you're coming early and hanging out with him in San Diego. Well, that hasn't been decided yet. That hasn't been decided yet. So oh, that's what he told me when I was in San Diego hanging out with David last weekend. Oh, thanks for inviting me. Dude. Oh yeah, Jr. Come on, let's let's get on track here. Keep us on track, dude. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm I'm distracted by Jay. He's just there. <laughs> I'm just there, yeah. I get a lot. <laughs> just there, just there. Uh, uh, Jay, what is your Jay? Both of you, what is your single? I'm going to say, what is your single least favorite prop? When somebody orders this prop, it's the one that makes you go, "Oh God damn it! Not no more of those." The uh, I wish I never made it prop. Yes. Which prop is it? I have some of those. Which ones? I mean, all, <laughs> all of them have a lot of pixels in it and take, you know, some take a lot of time to cut. But uh, I don't know. I would say like the, the poor man pixel pole. Yeah. It's just, I'm not a big fan. 
it just takes takes a while because there's a lot of them on a sheet and 